I'm Lana from Sage and Sound and I've got a video for you today on the real reason that you procrastinate. So a lot of people that I work with have this issue of procrastination. They have a goal and they say that this goal is really important to them but they just can't seem to get started on taking the actions that would lead them to the goal. So what's going on there? When I ask people what they think is going on, they tend to say um, that they're lazy or that they're unmotivated. Uh, and I got a few problems with those kind of responses. Uh, one, I don't think it's actually true, uh, which I'll get to in a minute, but some of the other reasons um, are that they're, they're really personal words. So when I say I'm lazy, it sounds like a characteristic of who I am. And if something is who we are, it's not something we can change. There's nothing we can do about it. It's part of what we call a fixed mindset. And it means that, yeah, it's fixed. Uh, whereas what we know in psychology and you know what science and scientific studies is continually showing us is that life is a process of growth and change. Our brain is constantly changing its connections. We're constantly learning or uh, getting rid of skills depending on what we need according to the environment. So um, the reason that you can't change has nothing to do with who you actually are as a person, uh, but it might have something to do with the way you're talking to yourself as a person. Uh, the other reason that words like lazy and unmotivated just um, aren't helpful is that they're self-criticizing words. So there's not really, uh, <laughs> you know, heard anyone say that they're in a positive sense, that they are um, unmotivated. They always say it in a negative way. And when we talk to ourselves negatively, this actually blocks us from being able to learn and grow and change as well. So using words like lazy and unmotivated, they don't help, but I think they're also actually wrong as well. Um, I think what's going on there for a lot of people is that that lazy, unmotivated feeling is actually fear in disguise. And that when you're procrastinating on a task, the real reason that you're doing that is because you're really scared of something that's in that process of completing the task. And that the fear is actually so great that your body thinks that you can't cope, you shouldn't go there, and shuts down in an attempt to protect you from this supposedly big and scary thing. So huge amount of fear, your body assumes oh, that thing must be about to hurt us, don't go over there. And so then it creates this really heavy dragging feeling in our body and thoughts like, I can't start that right now. Um, so to test out if that it might be what's going on for you, next time you want to take action on a goal that you think is really important to you, but you find you just kind of can't quite get started and maybe you've labeled yourself as lazy or unmotivated, Ask yourself the question, am I actually feeling afraid right now? And then just get a sense as to what the answer might be. Um, if it's right, you'll know it once you ask the question. So you'll be able to feel in your body, uh, yep, that is it, I'm actually feeling scared right now. And if that's the case for you, then the next question to ask is, what am I afraid of? Uh, two things that are super common in terms of what people are afraid of are fear of failure, that I'll try doing this thing and I won't be able to make it work or not work to the standard I want. Um, and people are also really afraid of success. If I get this step, then that means I have to take this next step and this next step, and that might actually result over time in changing the kind of person that I am. Um, and shifts to our identity is something that really does freak us out as well. So, uh, and the third thing that often comes up for people is not knowing what to do. Um, so any of those fears, sometimes all of those fears or your own personal fears might be the reason that you're procrastinating. And if you can get a handle on what specifically it is that is causing you the fear, then just naming it, just saying to yourself, oh, I'm afraid of getting started on my assignment because I'm actually afraid of failing my assignment. 
If that's correct, you will know it and it will become much harder to lie to yourself and just say, oh, I'm lazy. But then you've got to know what to do with that, right? So what do I do if that's actually my fear? Um, so that sort of work in terms of like, okay, well, how do I unpack that? How do I recreate a plan for myself that takes into account things like I don't know what to do or I'm really afraid of failing? That's the kind of work that we do with our clients through the Slow Life Project. So there's a couple of different ways that we might work with a client on this issue. Uh, the first one is we have a little template called the Slow Life Implementation Plan, which is uh, shortened to SLIP which I like because it allows us to kind of slip through all our excuses and actually get action taken on that goal. Um, and that's a step-by-step -step process that you go through with a trained therapist that helps you to really break your goal down. So we go through specific steps, really clear, detailed, and small enough that we overcome that block around not knowing what to do. Um, and then we go through the emotional blocks that can hold you back from your goal. And this is where uh, a lot of goal setting techniques fall short and also where you're going to need to do the work if you've got big fears going on and that's the reason that you're procrastinating. For some people it's not knowing the, the right steps to take towards a goal but a lot of people have that intellectual knowledge it's the emotional stuff that holds us back from achieving the things that we say we want so we help you explore and name and identify and develop strategies to move through those blocks so that they're no longer holding you back and of course the nice thing about being engaged in a program like that and having those one-on-one -on -one sessions with someone is a pretty high degree of um, accountability on yourself and that in and of itself is a fair push in the right direction in terms of us actually taking action on our goals when we know that someone's going to ask us the next week so how did you go with that um, so if you go through this technique and find out that um, fear is what's blocking you from reaching your goals, I'd really encourage you to reach out and book an appointment with one of our therapists um, because they can help you often within one session to figure out what are those things that are holding me back and develop a plan going forwards. All right, so I hope those um, questions and those ideas gave you lots to think about. Um, good luck with trying it out and please do reach out for more support if you need it. Till next time, bye.